Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Quake. Oops. Hey, welcome back to Quake. All right. So the catacombs have opened. Is what has been told to me by that tooltip. Uh, no, I not what that means, but I'm gonna bet that it means more guys to shoot, as is rather often the case. Oh, that reminds me, I haven't had my uh, my thing. Let's give it a cool color, come on. That'll be blue. Alright. Oh. Oh, cool. I missed one kill. I like that it makes you break your legs on your way in. So this is actually something I commented on um, back when we were playing Quake Vanilla. Uh, in Doom, everything except for rockets shares ammunition with another gun of a similar type. And back in Doom 1, uh, that was rockets and the shotgun. Um, so the pistol used the same type of bullet as pistol used the same kind of bullet as come on brain work with me here chain gun is the name of it so you had your distance quiet sniping weapon or yeah now we got both of our good old friends Yeah, you either had your quiet, distant, like, point and shoot weapon, or you had a big, full auto machine gun, go, go, go. Mm hmm. Um. As of Doom 2, the shotgun shared with the super shotgun. So you either had, like, a just straight solid, like, workhorse weapon. It didn't require a lot of finesse to use. It was easy to aim. Good boom chock chock when you used it. But it chewed uh, through all your shotgun ammo. And then you got the... Uh, the mine thrower, right? And this is the horn. Oh, it summons an allied enemy. Okay, I, I kind of thought that I would. I must have just iced the fucker too soon last time. Like in a game like this, you know, you pick up an item. I really don't want that thing on the floor. You pick up an item and somebody spawns in front of you. That's just trouble waiting to happen. Uh, anywho. And then the BFG shared uh, cells with the plasma gun. Or plasma rifle, as I believe it came to be known. Little waste of armor, but that's okay. Actually, 
now that I know that I can go back and grab that, I'm just going to save it for when I need it. Continue scooting my way through here. Oh, wait, you're the friend, right? Okay, yeah, the Naz of Doom 2 shotgun shared with a super shotgun. Is this Joker? Oh, there's stairs. That's cool. That's a cool effect, very simple. Because obviously the textures will just automatically match themselves. But you don't need to worry about it. That's clever. I like it. Anyway, so yeah, it kind of almost influenced you to have like a build going, but not quite a build, more like a, just a plan, you know? Because like either I can use my regular but slow but reliable shotgun and just have, have stuff to work on, you know? Or I can switch to the super shotgun. This is dumb. Or I can switch to the super shotgun, and it'll blow through my ammo twice as fast, but holy shit, is it going to get some stuff done, you know? It's going to use it. And it will get shit done for real. Missed a shot, that's okay. We got too much ammo to be getting on with this thing anyway. See, look, I've capped it. Go a little trusty. <laughs> okay, so this thing has some uses. It requires a tad more finesse. Which, as we've discussed, is something I'm a bit opposed to. Yeah, like I said, that's okay. Remember, you gotta jib these guys to get them to stop coming back from the dead. One way to be sure. That's a silver key door. Okay. Back in here and save. Sorry, definitely shouldn't have started this conversation. Anyway, a cool thing about Doom is that all your weapons share ammo with something else. So either, and it's usually like a matter of, oh, they're even in coffins. That's clever and cool and fun. And it's usually a matter of like how loud, how real, how fast do you want to go. Because either you can have a pistol, which will just, you know, slowly, gradually, carefully plink away guys. A shotgun and a plasma gun. You know, and your shotgun's a workhorse. It's just straight solid. It'll get a lot of work done. Wow, it's so fucking tight in here. Jesus. Um, and your plasma gun's gonna... You know. 
shoot through enemy uh, shoot through enemies fast. But what is that thing? It's on top of this coffin. Mjolnir. It's powered by cells, and it's a lightning hammer. I mean, of course it is. That's what Mjolnir is. <laughs> That's a little busted, I think. Uh, anyway, yeah. Yep. Yeah, the thought process for Doom is that, like, how do you want to play it? Do you want to burn through ammo? Do you want to play safe? You know, those are things you got to keep in mind, and that's clever. It's a good gameplay loop, even though it's so simple. Your super shotgun will do almost twice as much damage, maybe even more, especially if you're really close. But it will take two shots a pull. Oh, we've opened up the coffin. One of these, huh? Good little piece and anti-piece here. But anyway, um... So you had to pick how you wanted to spend your cells. Like, are you going to just put it into a, a BFG shot? Because that's 40 cells gone right there. The boys are going to deal with some problems. And as it happens, Quake uses mostly the same names for ammo. Though instead of um, instead of clips, you know, magazines, pistol ammo, as it were, uh, they instead have nails. And they've also just given you two automatic, like, weapons that are bullet-fed, basically. What is in there? The coffin is your exit. I want to go back and get that armor, sorry. This way? Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice thing to do. It adds replayability, and it's a little bit of player choice in Doom, which is pretty linear, honestly. You know, how do you want to spend your ammo? And something that I'm noticing for Quake is rockets, which were originally the only thing you could spend rockets on. You only had the rocket launcher. Have were originally split into grenade launcher or rocket launcher in Vanilla Quake. And with the grenade launcher, you can get shit like bank shots and, um, you know, bounce stuff off of walls and do cool stuff like that. Whereas the rocket launcher is the same as it ever was, but still good. You know? You can't really do this with a... Oh, God! The rocket launcher. And, strangely, they almost swapped it. Because cells only had one use in Vanilla Quake. They just had the... Lightning Cannon or whatever it's called. Shoot shit into the corners. Should be a good way to clean that out, right? And, you know, it was a big whammy gun, but it only did the one thing. It was, only the, it was the only use for cells. And then in this, they added the laser cannon. That's clever. It's simple. They just reused the coffin prop. 
but you get a different thing out of it. It's very clever, very simple. This vent blows you up there. Guy is crumpled. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. They want to give the player even more choices. But interestingly, they haven't actually added more types of ammunition. So, the generic rocket or grenade is now what also fuels the proximity mine gun. Kind of looks gnarly in here, fellas. What happened? Did I step in the fire? I think I did. It's a good area. We all learned nice. Yeah, and then also, they've now decided that. And that's a third thing that takes cells. Although, by the looks of it, it is a replacement to the BFG, as it were. Because we didn't really have a BFG. Uh, what now? He stole my rocket launcher. That's an interesting game mechanic. Oh, they called it the Thunderbolt when he stole it. Or no, they called it the Thunderbolt when I picked it up, but they called it the Lightning Gun when I... when he stole it. So I have a key. Lever. Lever. Gremlin, huh? Gold key? Yep. Whoa! This is a trap. Or not. Weird. Super nail gun. So yeah, it's one of those things where I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. Um, because like the the split between the nail gun and the super nail gun, or the shotgun and the super shotgun is, one is more conservative, but kills slower. One is more powerful, but wasteful. Maybe I gotta go backwards into it. Ooh, is it gnarly? Squad damage. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anyone for me to kill right now. But yeah, let's hypothesize and say if they were to add a third thing that takes nails or shells, it would kind of be stupid because, like, the difference between the guns that we already have is the speed of their killing. Well, that was dumb. Uh, is the speed of their killing. Compared to their ammo consumption. And if they were to just crank it up even more, I don't... I don't really know if that constitutes, like... a really solid use of gameplay, you know? Yeah, that is what I wanted. Did I have this over here? Nope, it's up there. Lost it when I unsaved. It's 
So enemies stealing your weapons is kind of interesting. Oh, hey! That's you! Interesting, so I just missed it earlier. Huh. If you use it while you're close to a guy, it doesn't take anything. Hmm. Mm. So what is this room for? Does this just go to this place? It also burns my tootsies a little bit, but that's okay. I guess so. Oh. Whatever. So how do I get the silver key? Ask and receive, I suppose. And then save more regularly, I guess. I think it's really, really smart. I think it's really, really smart of Quake to... First and foremost, give more, like, partitions to armor. To drop the one armor... happened there? Did a gremlin steal it and then I immediately got it back because he died? And these rooms kind of suck. I think it's clever of Quake to force your equipment and, like, health upgrades to degrade quicker. Because, like, you just gotta play smarter now, you know? No excuse. So, gold key, Frodo's ring, man, imagine somebody just invisibly shooting you with a nail gun, how embarrassing. So I think it was, here it is. What the heck? Oh. This is kind of cool, but I will say these enemies aren't really threatening. Maybe it's just them showing off their cool tech demo shit. I don't know. Sorry, it might makes light and I'm feeling mighty. Oh, these boats just weird. You are gonna suffer me. Okay, cool. Make a savey here. And what is this called? Mortem's Keep. The last level. Uh, neato. Let's kick it into overdrive then. So 
We got this way. Got that way up above, but we'll probably sneak around to that. Whoops. So we got the down way and we got forward. Well, left, I guess. So it looks like they don't like to jump down. And they can be easily tricked into eating each other, I guess. The ever. And this is gold D. Yuppers. Okay. I guess we're going down. Cool. I had not considered. Wait, is the Shambler my friend or is this guy? I guess maybe they both are. Shambler, I call upon thee. So, you know, it's actually probably way cooler to have. Well. It's cooler than I think to have a... What is this called? Revenants or zombies or something? It's probably cooler to have one of them on my side than... I think. Because... Uh, they can't die and a lot of these people don't give. There's the key. Come on up. Fuck it. Wait, maybe I can sneak. Get him! No, don't do it. Hold on, my cat's puking. Okay. I stopped him. Shambler ally. So I guess it must be pre-scripted to summon a specific guy. Anytime you want to do something with one of those, huh? Probably picked by the map maker. There are some interesting things with that, you know? Let's have a key. Yes. What happens if we use the lightning gun on this? I just start opening doors with this thing in general. Yes, my pet. Fucking shamble ally. Yeah, I will say, I'm glad that the rocket launcher that you get in this, like the new things that use cells and rockets, aren't just like less ammo efficient versions of their counterparts. Because, like, the fact that you have to worry about ricochets and, like, hitting yourself with your own attack 
as opposed to lightning that goes directly to the enemy and nowhere else. That's cool. Ah. Sequence complete. Oh boy. Oh, bring me some meat. There's the gold key. Aha. Aha. Yes. Perfect. Good for my little uh, hell run there. Oh, it's baby boy lunchtime. Look at that. Right. Why don't we get direct, huh? What's oh, so gnarly? Very simple secret area. The door has opened and I got empathy shields. They really like this dynamic lighting effect, I've just noticed. They're putting it on nearly everything. Because it was on, um, because it's on the summoned, uh, monsters that you get, and it's on you. After destroying the power generator, you pass beyond the gates of Mortem's Keep. A wave of nausea suddenly flows over you, and you find yourself cast out into a liquid void. You float lifelessly, yet aware in a lavender sea of energy. I guess that's what the sky is? Neat. <clears throat> Let me just uh, check my watch, do my taxes while this text scroll happens. After what seems like an eternity, and yeah, no, I'm kidding, you feel the presence of a diabolical intelligence. You are held helpless for a moment as your mind is open to that of Armagon, Quake's general and master of this realm. That's something that I feel like a lot of games of this era had to do. They're like, well, who's the biggest, toughest guy of hell? Well, that'll be the final boss, you know? Like, Doom doesn't go for any, like, named guys. It just has generic Baron, generic Revenants. The Icon of Sin is just, you know, one specific wall. I don't know if it's anyone specific in the lore of Doom 2, at least. Um... But like in Half-Life, it's like, you've killed the Nihilant. He's the big guy. And then in the Half-Life expansions, they had to invent, like, the Gene Worm and Race X and all the other things. It's like, oh, these guys were here too. You just never... They were really important. No, trust me, promise. They were really cool. You just didn't see them ever. They're not important to the... No, shut up. Anyway. Quake's general master of this realm. Recognizing you as the one who foiled his attempt to conquer Earth, a hellish howl fills your mind and blots out all consciousness. When you awake, you find yourself on the shores of reality, but in a time and place unknown to you. We got time travel. Interesting. Uh, and what's more, the end of the episode. Um, this is the end of episode two? What is this called? No spoilers. Uh, so yeah, episode two, Dominion of Darkness, followed by The Rift, which has one, two, three, four, five levels and one secret level. Um, so yeah, probably two more episodes of this. Um, I'm gonna play more Quake expansions. Um, I really, really love Quake. Uh, I might actually go back and play this episode, uh, this expansion on Nightmare. Um, because playing Quake on Nightmare was really hard, but really fun. But I'm excited to beat it.
and uh, defeat the General of Quake, who we had never heard of. <laughs> what are the next expansions going to be about? They're going to be like Quake's doctor, Quake's grocer, Quake's neighbor. You know? <laughs> anyway, uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Quake. Quake's first expansion, Scourge of Armagon. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.